Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another Jurassic World Lego edition, whatever you want to call this, playthrough. I'm pretty sure I've said the name wrong in the past two episodes, but you know, it's all good. I power through. I am back on the level where we last left off after I couldn't progress, and I was like, okay, I'll just quit there, and we'll come back and do some more Jurassic World, get through more of this story in a between 35 to 45 minute range, and then continue going forward until we have at least beaten the story mode of this game. We are not going for 100% unless someone says, or I should really say, unless a good amount of people say, hey, you should go for 100% on this. We're just kind of going for the story, beating the story, and then going from there. We also will have uh, Pokemon Quest going up the same day as this one is going up, and probably another video as well. Uh, I'm not sure what it will be just yet, but for sure those two, and then continue going forward so i know a lot of this that's going to be in the beginning you've already kind of seen if you watched the end of the last episode but now you can get to see us progress forward and actually complete more of this story and enjoy it so here we are as uh owen and now we're the uh wi-fi director i don't know checking the signal making sure everybody's gonna get free wi-fi when they come in here <laughs> no i don't know all right, let's go ahead and do this. Scan my handprint, which I messed this up somehow. I don't know how I messed this up, but it said I messed it up. I didn't even click on anything unless it's a timed thing. Of course, you can't see my actual uh, button clicks that I press, but eventually I do get it right. Don't worry. See, I got it right. Yeah, no, probably definitely uh, next episode I'm going to have to try to see if my controller works for this. I've been using my, as you can probably kind of tell if you look really closely, like right here, the joystick that's moving around. Uh, I still am using my hand for this one. I haven't uh, set up the Bluetooth with my controller for this game yet or even checked if it works. Um, got an airplane somewhere. Hello, airplane. Or helicopter, maybe. I don't know. What is it? Oh, I can't see it. Oh, well. <laughs> Either way, but no, I was like, I definitely need to hook it up for the next episode because it was so many times where I felt like I could have been pressing buttons better, especially with certain of the parts that will come later in this episode where I just kept falling and things happened because of the fact that I was not the right character or right button presses at the right amount of time. It was a lot harder on this mobile edition, and I give mad props to people that play mobile editions to games because they are definitely difficult without a controller. So in case you haven't watched the last episode, please go back and watch the rest of the series. It has been a lot of fun so far. This was a series started by my nephew, VJ, and I've taken it up for him to finish it out. Uh, but yeah, we are, like I said, just kind of playing through the story mode of this, just trying to enjoy the game, play through, you know, everything in this. I know it just came out recently for the Switch as well, so um, I don't know if we'll ever get the Switch edition or anything like that. But it's definitely a fun game. Definitely would recommend uh, LEGO Jurassic um, World to anybody. This is one of those examples where the controller just didn't want to agree with me. It's a lot of those like agile walls with agile characters. They just didn't want to go. Like you get to a certain point and then the controller would just stop. Like you can see me moving the Joy-Con or Joy-Con while the joystick and I'm not moving anywhere. And then it just knocks me off. <laughs> I don't get it, but it was all good. I'm actually, actually at the current moment in time of the recording this, I'm actually on uh, lunch at work. So if my hair is a little whatever, it's because of probably either my hard hat or different factors. So I apologize if I don't look the most professional looking, but you know, we'll have some fun. It's definitely getting cooler out. It's definitely that fall crisp weather uh, right now. So getting used to that. I don't know how many more outside videos we'll have. Not that we don't mind the cold and dealing with it for short periods of time but definitely might mean for future inside videos or maybe we can still do camping and stuff like that as long as we have some kind of a heating source uh to keep us warm we didn't actually go camping at all this uh summer which is very interesting but i know we just had like moved into the area and we were kind of more so showing off everything and then kind of getting into our own things and all that so definitely probably uh, once it gets into the spring summer again we'll definitely do some more uh outside camping stuff gotta collect those uh not me i was gonna say minkets uh coins or what are those little things called i don't even know what the little circle things are called so this is the part where it froze last time 
or it just didn't seem to work for me. I kept getting trapped, and I don't recall what's going to happen happening in the last episode. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just do not recall it happening. So you can see I'm testing out different areas to kind of figure out what am I supposed to do because it's seeming like, yes, you need to go across this bridge, which we've done a couple times, and then it breaks like it has the past couple times, but then nothing would occur here. But however, this time the little DNA guy pops up, and I do not recall that happening. So correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I do not recall the little DNA guy appearing for me to do this with the character I have. I didn't see the little dinosaur logo. I was literally, I feel like I was stuck, but I'll, I'll go back and watch the last episode. I, I just don't remember. If I'm wrong, I'll make a cut like right now with future me somewhere on the screen saying I was wrong. If I'm right, then that won't happen. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. I'm scared of future me. He knows the truth. <laughs> I got about an hour long lunch here and I figured okay let's get this dished out and then get Pokemon Quest so like Pokemon Quest we wanted it to come out I think it was a day or two ago but then like we were recording it and then we would get to those points where we just like had to grind again grind again to get continue forward so I get totaled to like maybe 15 minutes of content after I finally kept moving forward moving forward and I was like this is still just like kind of short I know like I'm not all against like somewhere between 15 and 30 minute long videos I just, I like that 30 minute range. It sounds nice and lengthy and gives you good quality content with, you know, us trying to work through our commentary and get used to, you know, the flow of everything with all of the oohs and the errs and the whatever else we tend to do a lot, which I, I keep bashing myself on this, but being a communication major, they really taught us not to use uh a lot. And I do that so many times when I'm trying to think or keep on topic or keep topics flowing and it's a bad thing, but I will try my best to prosper over it and ignore it and not be so hard on myself, but probably won't happen. It's all good though. So we're finally making progress in the game. We're finally past where we were the last time we played this. I didn't really have an objective to, uh, like I said, get to with either one of these episodes. I just went for what seemed to be a good amount of time and then continue forward. Now we got geese flying overhead. What's with all the weird noises flying overhead it's okay i'm not a big fan of geese i never had a personal bad experience with geese but i know a lot of people that have and they definitely uh were infested in my old house's like backyard that there were like hundreds of them so they were just annoying to deal with especially when you went to like cut your grass or play outside and stuff like that so yeah not a big fan of the geese they're okay animals i just i just no i think my least favorite animal or type of animal, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, is it really an animal? Is an insect an animal? <laughs> I am bad. I, I studied science in school. Uh, what are you talking about? But no, no, I hate uh, mosquitoes. I hate them. I don't, I don't get them. I don't get what they do. Other than fly and suck your blood. What, what do they do for our, uh, for our economy, for our, uh, our economy, wow, our environment, our uh, ecosystem, mind you. Like spiders, I get like like help deter those bugs and you know do different stuff and like ants, they help keep the ground, uh, you know, with the fact that they dig, they keep the ground fresh and everything like that. So I, I just need to know what a mosquito's purpose is. Maybe that's something I need to Google. I need to know the point or the good sides of a mosquito because so far I have not seen any. I'm also not a big fan of bees, but I definitely get bees' purpose with the honey and um, cuteness when they don't sting you. I've never been stung by a bee, but I have this paranoid fear that whenever I do, I'm gonna have an allergic reaction. That's gonna be terrible. And I'm not gonna make it to like a doctor or something in time and I'm going to like suffer a death that I don't want to happen. <laughs> so whenever I see a bee, I pretty much run. Even sweat bees kind of flip me out. I don't know why, when they don't really sting too much. They like bite more so than anything. What's your guys' least favorite bug animal thing? I guess if, it, if an insect is not really classified under the animal field, I don't know what would be my least favorite animal. I guess the geese, I guess. I don't know if I had to put out something, I guess that. All right, 
or cloak style uh, Owen right now, disguised through here to move forward. I like how him and uh, Alan Grant both have that claw, the um, raptor claw, to cut things open. I like how me and the whatever chick, I can't remember her name, Ellie? Is that her name? I don't know. Uh, both can dive and poop. I don't recall much poop diving into in the Jurassic Park series. I do remember her going through poop in Jurassic Park, yes, but not jumping into it. But, you know, comedy purposes, good, 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 good claps to you, uh, Lego Company. Or TT Games, whatever it is. Every time I see it, though, I think of, like, Telltale Games or something like that. But I don't think that's what that stands for at all. I don't even know what if it stands for anything. Break some bones for some coins. Gotta get that true survivor. And I did check after, uh, the, before I started recording this, if any of the other Jurassic Parks have been unlocked, and they have not. So, like I said, if it, if it comes to the point where Jurassic Park 2 and 3 are not attainable unless you do certain things, then I will do those off screen to unlock them and then we'll continue forward. I don't think you guys would want us to play through a level again just to get, you know, say, all the coins or get the certain unlockables that you need through different characters, like that type of stuff. I feel like, you know, we can uh, x nay that out of the recording. So, if that comes to be, we will... Uh, take care of it then but if not then we'll keep powering forward if anybody has played the mobile edition of this game i would love to know what i need to know to continue making progress to beat at least the story all right we got the wall here climbing up here we go with the controller issue again Luckily, I was able to correct it before I fell this time. Mashing buttons is fun, so we can cut things open and build things. They do a really good job, though, at building things for you. Like, I guess Legos, they're going to do that, but, like, they, they, they make it creative in a lot of ways. Mad props to Legos. I'm going to murder these sound. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I don't mind them. They don't bug me too much. This one I can actually see. I doubt, I doubt. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> There's the, this one's a plane. Except professionals probably would be like, all right, let's make a cut and we'll re-record and whatever. But I'm like, yeah, support those flyers. Support your pilots. I've actually, I do actually know one pilot actually. But I've only, I think I've only been on a plane twice or three times in my life. Maybe, maybe more. I don't know. I, I, I can only recall like maybe three times. I've only had one bad plane experience where the uh, turbulence got too much of me and I, you know, visited the, the, the land of the toilet for the fact that, you know, I was not feeling the best. But either way. Other than that, every plane ride has been pretty enjoyable. The longest car ride I've ever did was, I'm pretty sure, when my family went to Disney World. I have no memory of anything except for playing Pokemon Pinball during a lot of that trip. It was like the year, I think, uh, 99 or 2000, I can't remember, uh, when we went there. So I was uh, about eight years old. And yeah, I literally only remember playing Pokemon Pinball at some point of the trip. Uh, the dinosaur, the ride that came up that year, because you were chased by a Cranosaurus. I don't know what the dang dinosaur's name is. The bad T Rex looking thing with horns chased you. Those are like the only two things I remember. I do have pictures of me with uh, like a Mickey plushie seeing Mickey's like show thing, but I have no memory of that. Um, I kind of remember the plushie if I like look at it, but like I don't recall like holding it or really truthfully owning it. So, uh, yeah. Does it count? Probably not. So I definitely need to go to Disney World again, just to get the memory. I know it's all going to be different now, but still. 
just the get a memory of Disney World in my head. I don't remember the castle at all. I don't remember any of the roads. Uh, I do remember, actually, I'll correct one thing. I do remember there was, like, the tree thing, like, in the animal, whatever, kingdom thing, or whatever they call it. I don't know. But they did uh, Bugs Life in 4D uh, for the showing. I do remember that. I do remember that. I'm pretty sure that was at um, Disney. I've also been to Universal, but, I, again, that's another one I only remember bits and pieces of. I know we went on, like, a Jaws ride, one with, like, fire and stuff like that, but I don't even know what ride that was. It was before the Harry Potter and all that was added, so this was also in probably the 2000s when we went to Universal. But, again, a place I just sadly don't remember much. Maybe I need to get my memory checked. <laughs> then again, it's been, what, at least 15 years, maybe, since any of those. Maybe less. Maybe like 10. But still. No, it's, it's maybe been 15. I mean, I'm 27, going on 28 here in a couple days. And, you know, I was like 8 back then. So, yeah, 15, 20 years. Boom. I'm correct. some progress here getting through this still don't understand why this is blacked out i'm assuming it's because when i because when, when i started recording it worked fine but then they started blacking out again i don't know this why this is happening um i'm just assuming it's something with the screen recorder itself here we go being chased by another t-rex guy this one's the dominus rex chasing us as we're on a giant ball of fun i would love to drive one of these things I know they have, like, uh, for pools and stuff, the big, like, bubble-looking things that you can, like, run in and all that type of stuff. Uh, so I think that's going to be, like, the closest we can get to these type of vehicles right now as it stands, unless there is this vehicle out there in the world, and I'm just not aware of it. But definitely would be uh, fun to go around in one of these things. Another vehicle I always thought I would, like, want to get at some point was the little, like, Segways. I don't know why, but I think it's because I went, like, around downtown area at some point. So I, like, always saw people with those, and I thought they were cool. I, I don't know why, but, yeah, that was always a vehicle I thought I was going to get one day, but I never did. And I'm, I'm okay with that now. I had a motorized scooter at one point in my life. I had a couple cars, of course. Uh, but other than that, I guess I did have, as a kid, like a bulldozer and uh, one of those cars you can actually, like, drive, like, you know, like electric, not electric car, but whatever they are. Like the little, like, Toys R Us cars that were themed and stuff like that. I had one of those as well. I think that's how I uh, learned to drive, to be honest, was those cars. I did have, like, the Flintstones type car where you had to, like, walk it, too. You know, all the different, all those different fun ones. <laughs> Bicycle. I guess I had a bicycle. I don't know what else, uh, what else I had unless I just keep trying to think deeply on stuff. Alright. Avoided the giant T-Rex with teeth. The super T-Rex as I like to call him. I don't even remember getting an amber brick. I still didn't even see it in the clip. When watching it back I was kind of studying I'm like when did I get this thing? I don't even recall. Did you guys see me getting the amber brick? If you did, mad props to you. More cutscenes that are blacked out. I mean, I guess you can see the audio taking place, but, you know, it's all good. We just skip. We're here to play through the game and beat it. And sometimes get 100% with the uh, coins. Or at least try. This is definitely the level, though, that caused me a lot of rage. I definitely remember this. I'm pretty sure it was this level that caused me rage. When I was, uh, playing it. Did I pick the spot with, like, the most airplanes and helicopters and geese sounds? I wonder if that's the same plane. I think that's the same plane, guys. Can you see it? I don't think you can see it. No, it's too high up. Darn it. I was, I was gonna ask if that was the same plane. I don't think it is. I think it has a little bit more red on it, sorry. I have an itch in my eyeball. Not really my eyeball, but the corner of my eye. All right, keep progressing forward, or attempting to. Trying my best here. <laughs> I am professional. Can't break that, apparently. Or that. Just breaking my fist at this point. Oh, we don't have, uh... I 
Everyone's saying her name's Ellie. Is that right? to the names of characters in Jurassic Park, which is probably not a good thing. Oh no, he broke my access point, that mean jerk. Good thing we have this chainsaw made of Legos. build random chainsaws in the episode. I remember that in the movie. No, I'm just kidding. I know they I know they try to make extra comedy with stuff, so I, I really do respect how they do these things. I know there are a few Lego games that are more legit toward the story, and then there's ones that are like this way where they're comedy types, and then there's ones that are just not based on anything, and they're just their own games. So far, I've only played the Legos that are actually based on stuff. Like I did a bit of the Harry Potter... Uh, Legos. Um, I did Star Wars Lego and then this one. And I think I did the trial version of like the Marvel Avengers one, but that was about it. I haven't done any of the other ones. There's a lot of Lego games though, I will say that. I don't know how many exactly, but if I. Uh, yeah, I won't even take a guess because I know I'll probably be way off. Open this up. Gonna build this stuff good, nice. For whatever reason, I've turned my cloak on. Don't know why. I think it's because I held it down too long. I don't know. Careful, careful, careful. How's my balance? My balance is actually pretty decent. I can do a mean balance beam. Now, don't make me jump on it, but I can. I can walk a good thin line and survive. Brief cut there because of the fact that for some reason it just cut off my face cam so I had to make a brief cut to refresh the face cam for some reason there but I am back now. Uh, it was just a brief couple seconds but you know all good. We'll continue going forward as we build up here. I know I'm about to get to the frustrating part so this is going to be fun to watch <laughs> as uh, you get to watch my uh, controller struggles. that to jump between pink and blue pads. Yep, 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 yep. That's what it says, but you can only do it with certain characters, agile characters to be exact. Yeah, I have no idea why I had to refresh the face cam, but it's all good. I got literally like halfway through the episode, though, right before I uh, had to refresh. So I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting. That was literally like right at the halfway point that it happened. Also, I'm just now realizing after like that brief cut, I still have sounds going on, even though I haven't heard an airplane since that cut, but I definitely got a mower going on somewhere around me. I don't know where, but gotta love the sounds. I respect the sounds today. Can we get some claps for the sounds in the background? <laughs> I'm not bad about it. I just think it's funny. Murder, just straight up murder. If you're expecting this part to be fast, it's not going to be. <laughs> this is going to be a struggle fest. Because not only could I not do this, like, ever, I can't get the other part either. So I feel like I was pretty well, like, even with this board. And, of course, I had the controller issues, so it was a lot of fun to uh, try to figure this out. You gotta switch your character. And then I finally get him up there. And then it gets to that freeze point and makes me drop. It was very frustrating this whole time doing this. I'm like, because it's like it's like a whole period, and then she would jump down whenever he would fall down. So I'm like, no, just stay up on the platform. Like, I need you up on the platform until we're done here. Stop jumping off so I don't have to keep doing this stuff. <laughs> it was okay though. Eventually I get it. Don't worry. I don't remember how many more times it takes. I don't know if it's this attempt or the next one. I remember just being like ultra careful when I finally get it. Because I'm like, I do not want to fall. I don't want this to keep happening. I want to uh, continue going forward and beat this game. I 
I'm wondering after the last installment, because like obviously they didn't do a Lego version of Fallen Kingdom. So I'm wondering if they're waiting for the last movie of the trilogy to uh, finish it out kind of deal. Let's see, we've got a box here, a thing here, which we can't do without her. She's my superhuman strength. I will say when I was switching here, I'm like, he's gonna jump down and I'm not gonna have a way up. That's literally what I was thinking during that time. I was like, I'm gonna have to do those tricks again. Luckily, I didn't have to. Oh, look, it's our best friend. All right, we're gonna slide under here. Get those coins because they might matter. If we can get some of the coin things accomplished, I feel like that will help um, in the long run no matter what. I like collecting them anyway. It's fun to kind of just break stuff, see if it shows any hidden areas and stuff like that. You never know. That's, a, that's kind of a far away airplane. I don't know if you can hear this one. It's the, probably the farthest airplane so far. I should just, at this point, I should just have an airplane counter at the end. How many airplanes was in today's episode? <laughs> It'd be more fitting if they were helicopters because then I could say like, oh, they're just going to Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. I guess the planes could be. Did they take a plane ever? I know there was a tram. I think it's usually always like a helicopter they uh, ride into the place. Of all the, I think there's what, three? different, well, I know four different variants of the Jurassic Park, if you want to say. The Isla Merta, Isla Sorna, and a couple others. Which uh, Jurassic one would you have wanted to see? If it was guaranteed safe and you weren't going to die, which one would you want to go to? Honestly, I would say either the first Jurassic Park or, yeah, Jurassic World would be the ones I would preferably prefer. Although Spinosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs, I'd probably say the uh, Jurassic, uh, regular Jurassic Park, knowing it was safe, or Jurassic World, if knowing it was safe. <laughs> All right, we've got our girl here who's going to do her acrobatics. up with this machinery and now we need Owen to chop down with his raptor claw I'm glad he doesn't hear that from the outside the giant bang that we just caused like hey mr. dinosaur we're here this was an infuriating part I remember this so I'm like, okay, I'll just switch to her because he's not going and then she falls and I'm like okay I'll go back to him and just hope I can get back up here and then I didn't realize you could walk over by the window for a while and then I'm like just stuck here and then it glitches me down and I was like oh no I'm gonna have to do all that whatever stuff but luckily there was like a trampoline here but this took me a while to figure out so here's another one of those uh, infuriating parts where it's gonna take a little bit for me to move forward but it was uh I definitely make it through it just was one of those where I'm like can I just please jump this and it felt like my jump button just wasn't wanting to agree with me I would get stuck here and I couldn't get on that platform and like I said it takes me a while to even realize there's a platform behind that platform <laughs> that you can go to that's what I say once I get my for sure set up complete on my computer for some reason it's still just giving me weird issues um, but then I could do like actual live reactions as I'm recording it in person instead of you know a couple moments afterwards it's not the end of the world though and we beat that level. Weird ending, ending point, yes I agree, but hey, we beat it. It's all that counts. Get some characters unlocked. I don't know, I guess he was technically unlocked earlier, so I don't know who the mystery one was. All right, for some reason it cut me out of the uh, world after I beat it, so I'm now going back to where I was. So for whatever reason it cut me out 
from where I was. I don't know why, but you know, we'll make it work. We need something still to be unlocked to get through there, so it looks like we still have some story stuff to accomplish before we can go through that door. What's through the door? We don't know, but it looks like we can go this way, which is good. Okay, yeah, this is where we were. Over by the gyro spear, I think that's what they're called. And we're going to Main Street, okay. Cool, we're going to the downtown area. Down on Main Street. Good classic rock song. Bob Seger is the singer, in case anybody's trying to figure out who sings it. Down on Main Street. Okay, I'm not gonna do any copyrights. Oh, we got pterodactyls attacking the town. Don't worry guys, I will be quick and efficient and collect these coins first and then we'll save the town. Now it's saying we have that character. That is not the character we need. This is the character we need. I'm gonna stand up just cause my butt's kinda going numb. I know that's probably TMI, but it kinda is for some reason. It's actually a pretty nice day. It's like blue skies. I know I, you probably saw it when I was showing the airplanes over above, but it's, yeah, it's a really nice day out today. Cannot complain. Past few days have been really cold and gloomy, so it's good that today is kind of like, it seems like mid 70s, it seems today. So cannot complain at all. I'm trying to get out of that sun so there's not that glare there. If it happens, it happens, but. Just gonna break these tables, cause severe damage that I will not pay back for. I hope the park understands that um, I need the coins and the stuff has the coins, so I have to break everything to uh, get these coins. So hopefully that, that, that they understand this and I'll just blame the dinosaurs, that the dinosaurs uh, caused this damage that is uh, being put here. If not, oh well. <laughs> street lamp. Ooh, we get something if we break all the street lamps. That's interesting. All right, I think I stretched my legs there enough. Go back to the tree I was at earlier. It's got some nice shading to where the sun doesn't peep through too much. All right, let's crank this thing open. We're gonna need the small dude for this one, it looks like. I hate that you had to like activate it in order to uh, switch to the character you need. I mean, you could hard press down, I think, to switch, but it was still like annoying. Assuming this is like an arcade of some kind that we're on top of. All right, backing away from the pterodactyls, let's just switch characters so we can just get down Yo, he just jumped from the top of the building without breaking any legs. I'm impressed. He lost a heart, though, I guess, but, you know. Alright, we return that guy's food truck stand thing so he can stay in business. Breaking some more lampposts for money. Can't break the karaoke machine, sadly. Oh, we got a cutscene. Oh no, not the guy. Oh, well, at least that's good. You gotta look at the positives even when you're being attacked by giant pterodactyls. Woo, that was a severe explosion. Oh, we get another screamy girl. Just like Jurassic Park, we get another scream girl. I would try to imitate the scream so that guy, way you guys would have the audio, but I'm not gonna do that and save your eardrums. Eventually, I'll find a way to um, record the audio on this. I know there is a way. I just have to figure out how to do it. Um, 
I know it's a quick workaround, but I was like, okay, for this episode, I'll keep one more episode, just no game audio, and then the next one I will. So again, we'll probably have some interesting background music to kind of fill that uh, gap and then uh, go from there. So last time I did like a uh, ambient sounds and stuff like that. So I don't know what I'll do for this one. We'll figure it out. You'll hear it obviously when you're watching it right now. Let me know what you think of the music. I like how he just stays there and just stuck on that pole. And I was like, all right, maybe she can actually grab the pole. You can tell how slowly I was getting infuriated with the mechanics of me trying to control myself and failing to do so. Alright, swingity swing, swinging again. Alright, we're gonna build up this thing. And it looks like we get a like a platform of some kind. Cool. Or it's like the walkway earlier that they were asking if our balance was good, but they didn't understand that I was an expert balance beam holder. Sorry, I didn't realize I was getting so close to my face there. My bad. And here we go with the pterodactyl. We're going to take some good candidate pictures. I mean, he obviously hates uh, paparazzi, but we got a really good shot there. I'm going to frame that on my background. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, we break another lamppost. That's the three out of five sounds I just like trying to figure out where they come from I never see them though the planes were the only one all right so now we got to move this thing somehow looks like the what well, we can jump over there to maybe move it yeah because we can't break it for sure Those, I thought this was a breakable glass, and then we step right in the electric, electric water, which is definitely something you want to do on a daily basis. We need whatever dude, so he is right here, but looks like we can't get in there. I'm going to see if I can swap to him. Nope, it just brings me right back outside. Let me see if I can do a glitch here. I'm going to change to the little kid and then change her to the big guy. And no, so it looks like I'm going to have to move that block out of the way for him to get inside. I like how scared she is, like in all cases, like her hands are all like, ah, don't touch me, dinosaurs. I'm hiding my face, so therefore I'm invisible. She needs to invest in that camo Owen has. I almost thought I didn't get that there. When I'm looking even now, I'm surprised that it even landed down the spot, but all good, here goes the car. Breaking through towns causing severe damage. Luckily, it didn't blow up any of the other cars, so maybe only, you know, in total now, near a million dollars in damage. What do you guys think? How much damage have we caused, money-wise? Probably a good amount. I think so, too. Broke some food carts, some lampposts, a couple cars. Some of the cars were not us, for sure. There's four of the five of the lampposts. are getting really close to the true survivor I like the names that they come up with for the uh collect all the coins so like i think star wars it was like true jedi or true uh you know force user and then uh this one it's true survivor i don't know the other ones i don't remember what harry potter's were probably like wizard or something So let's break this. Might get it. Yes, there's the true survivor. Nice. Take all that we can. It's a nice little uh, street down here. Oh, we do not have Alan Grant. He is not in this movie anyway. <laughs> but no, I definitely uh, like the street that they came up with for Jurassic World. Not just like the Lego edition, but the uh, just how it looks in this too is really nice. Alright, we broke the thing. There goes Mr. Pterodactyl, Mr. 
whatever going away. Looks like we have some bouncing pieces inside the thing. And we gotta press the green side to move the thing. All right, we'll move this fountain. That's the professional name. All right, down goes the fire. Water's super effective on fire. Know your Pokemon typings. Oh, and that beats that story. All right, sweet. I think that completed that that little section or that um, whatever it's called, the station where you pick the levels. I don't even know what to call it. The module. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it looks like we'll be able to unlock this area with the Raptors. Ooh, we get to beat the Raptors. Sweet. So probably what I'll do is I'll get to the next access point, like the next where we can actually acquire another level. And then that's probably where I'll wrap up, wrap up this episode and then we'll continue on forward in the next one, whenever that might be. Like I said, we also have Pokemon Quest going up today. So be yeah, sure to tune into that when that one drops. Probably go up later this afternoon uh, once I get it completely edited. And then maybe one other video, if not today, then for sure two tomorrow. So gonna be a lot of fun as we're trying to stick with that four upload a week schedule i know a lot of things keep coming in the way with work and uh stuff like that but we're trying to stay to that word of four videos a week i love playing as the dinosaurs i don't know why but i think it just it's a refreshing refreshing feel to play as the dinosaurs Chomp attack. I cannot make a Velociraptor sound for the life of me. <laughs> Seriously, I might literally add this freaking airplane counter. Where, I'm not even near an airport. There is no airport near me at this current moment. Must be a common flyover area. All right, let's sniff this up. We'll have to figure out if the coins do anything too. I might do that one off camera, but if it's something cool, then I'll put it on camera. This looks like it's gonna be one of the modules, so. This is probably where I'm going to end up wrapping it up once I'm finished building and accessing it. Yes, it is. And we'll be going to... Oh, the Alpha. Okay, cool. So that's where we're going to go in the next episode. Like I said, we're just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. It feels like it's a good wrapping up point. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series. It means so much to us. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. It really does help so much. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you are new. We're trying on the way to 300 subs. I know we're about 25 away right now, so it would be awesome if we can hit that. Our goal is 400 by the end of this year. Uh, we just hope to continue to grow, meet new people, help others out. That's our main thing here. So. Thank you so much for supporting us through this journey. I will see you in the next video stream, whatever it might be. And yeah, that's about all I got. The Modern Gamer signing out. Ka -ka. I would do a, a pterodactyl screech, but I don't. I mean, I can do an aerodactyl like. Ow, that actually hurt. That didn't sound good either. That's nah, close enough. That's the best I got. See you guys. Peace. What is this? <laughs>